welcome everybody to our bonus our bonus demo with the lovely Yvonne I'm just going to do this here we go <laughs> I'm very short <laughs> you're lovely you're very lovely well done for today's show what Thank are you, you. going to be showing us during this half hour demo um, Yvonne uh, well whatever's in the box oh, 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 oh. show us the calendar <laughs> what's in the box here we go I have to say I've been amazed at everything that's uh, been brought to you these uh, are gorgeous I do have to say these are so 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 special inside today's number five box is gorgeous organza bag which I'll pop there and then you get oh you must have been jumping for joy I when you got these I loved it when it came I thought oh blimey <coughs> how oh there's a pearl there's a pearl How's, how am what what's in here <laughs> so you get a selection of your seed pearls which are so adorable there we go one, they're gorgeous one there as well. absolutely beautiful and then these which i have to say i haven't seen anything quite like these before these gorgeous threader earrings as well which are just stunning aren't they solid sterling silver do you know what you must have had so many did you have ideas straight away uh no i didn't get didn't get ideas straight away but once the ideas started coming oh. there was just more and more and more and i always try and make an asymmetric pair of earrings because um i think they're so adaptable people can either make the simple one or the or the more neither of them are complicated absolutely uh, but the one that takes a bit longer so you're going to be showing us this gorgeous pair of uh, earrings you've added in a little added extra bonus though which mm -hmm. is so lovely which is this lovely piece of twisted wire i don't know whether you can see that um and i know that it's um something you apply to this larger piece as well which if we get a chance we'll talk through as yeah, well yeah i'd love to do that um which is this gorgeous kind of uh, slightly larger necklace i love that that's so modern it's so nice, simple isn't it? it's beautiful it took about five ten minutes to make Ooh, back with the polishing <laughs> lovely well look i'll let you get on with it just uh, just okay. um, just you go for it the floor is yours yvonne would you mind if i reach over and get that absolutely go Thank for you. it please okay. do um okay right there what, we go what we've got here to start with is um because we've got twisted wire in there um we've got the wire twister tool yes nice um, that i've had you from julie maker years and years ago uh, and i've got two pieces of seven inch two seven inch pieces of 0.6 sterling silver wire Lovely. which i'm going to twist and what gauge are they um yvonne did you say 0.6? Perfect. Yeah, so they're 0.6. I did do those, um, the ones on the original earrings, um, 3.4, but mm -hmm. it all adds up to 12, doesn't it? Yeah, so I suppose. We'll oh, there see we go. if we get a different effect <laughs> with that. So, Who uh, knows? And then I added in some chain, mm -hmm. which I've got here, mm -hmm. and head pins for the little, little pearls, of which there's eight. That's for the other demo. Um, and I added in one more large jump ring on that one to put all the, the dangly bits on to hopefully make them dangle um, in a much more orderly mm. fashion. Um, so shall I start? Yes, please go okay, for it, Okay, so uh, I've got my vice here. What I'm gonna do is put, put this in here, because I don't need much, but obviously we, we'll waste some of it with the twist. We mm. won't waste it, it'll get shorter with mm. the twisting. There we As go. you lose some of the length, don't you? Absolutely. I suppose, with it. Yeah. And this wants to be in. So it does have a. There we go. A tendency to f to fall out. Then with this tool. Uh, I don't know if I can. With this tool, you put the wire in the hole mm -hmm. like that, and then you twist the wire over to make it secure like that so put one in one hole and one in the hole next to it so it and it's not wasted I mean we cut this bit off after mm. but we, we've all got um, little scrap pots of course we, we make little granulation balls silver wire. and everything Definitely. else so uh, this has got a, a sleeve on it that you hold and it just twists try oops. oh so I was expecting it to come out of there <laughs> <laughs> don't worry Right, so it is, it's a really useful tool to use, but I've, I've, I've heard of people using all sorts of different tools, like um, using a door handle to kind of uh, to, to wrap yeah. it onto, uh, and then and then kind of using even a piece of card almost to kind of twist the wire. 
the great thing about using tools like this is you get that consistency of, yeah. of twists on it, which is great. Okay, what I've done this time is what I should have done originally, is bend it over it. and then twist it round itself. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, Gorgeous. We'll, we'll do that this time and mm -hmm. hopefully we'll be safe. Sound as a pound, hopefully. Lovely. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's have a go and see if it works. Oh, lovely. Look there at that. There we it's go. Such lovely wire, isn't there it? There we go. So pliable. It is. And this is so easy. Mm. Uh, and the good thing is, if you, uh, if you look at the earrings that I've already made, mm -hmm. it actually straightens it and makes it quite rigid. Yes, well, because it it's work hardening. Hard it. Yeah, yes. it's hardening the wire. So there we are. That's as quick and as simple as that. that mm -hmm. That's all done. Lovely. So let's take that out of there. I've tightened it up so hard. Yeah. There, there we go. You go. Didn't want that to come out, and then Lovely. it came off the other end. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I can take that out of the way now. Yeah. So it's not in the way. Gosh, look at that, and that is the kind of consistency you're just not going to be able to get if you do this by hand without a tool. It, it's kind of using a tool like this, which is really going to give you that lovely almost machine turned it's quality. It's so even isn't it? It's lovely yeah gorgeous. So we take that off there we don't need that <clears> anymore. So um, I'm gonna just snip that off. Go for it. Yeah. Snippy snip. So that can go away. What we're going to do now is to cut two pieces off there. Some more scrap there. There we go. So we're going to do um, Two inch and a mm -hmm. two inch. There you go. So you're halving that then pretty much, aren't you, I suppose? Yeah. Actually, shall we see? I started off with seven inches, uh, but I got some scrap as well. Yeah. And now I've got four and a half inches Gosh, of it re does, it really, does good, really good twisted mm. wire when you take off the supposed waste at both mm. ends, really. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a two. I'm going to do. What shall I do? I'm going to do a two inch and a one inch. And this one, I'll do a one inch. Lovely. Lovely. So we put that okay. to one side. And now what we're going to do with those is make a loop on the top. Mm hmm. So just get it level with the top of your round nose pliers. Lovely. And just pop your hands up a little bit there. Just, there we go. Brilliant. Just keep twisting until you've got a nice tidy loop. Mm -hmm. And small as possible because they're very dainty, dainty. Mm -hmm. uh, I think actually the difference between this there we are, made a nice little loop there. Mm -hmm. You can tide, tidy that up, uh, but it's not scratchy or anything. No. I think, you know, the difference, it has made a big difference. What's you, that? Using 2.6 oh, instead 2 of 3.4. Yes, have so a look that, actually, if I show yeah, you them so together. Yeah, so that's made, I, I wouldn't have thought there'd be that much difference. There was definitely a difference in the, in the in, in the thicknesses of the um, yeah. of the two wires twisted together, that's really interesting. That's okay. That is because well. I thought it was bound to come out almost okay. the same. But so you do the anyway, same with the slightly so shorter that's piece as well. Uh, another alternative. <coughs> yeah. So we've Absolutely. now got two pieces there. Mm -hmm. the, um, now what we want to do is on this one mm -hmm. I've got three chains. Yeah. So we want a two and a half. Let's, let's move one out of the way. Okay. I got a two and a half, which, um, this is, I, use, I did this technique because um, it's a lot more time consuming to try and cut three pieces all the same length. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you're slightly one link out yeah. here and there. Definitely. So I've got a two and a half there. And two. Mm -hmm. A one and three quarters, shall we say? Let's have a bit of variation in this Lovely. one. Then we might get it all out of one piece. There's one. And we'll just go with what's left there. That's. Uh, uh huh. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do, yeah, one and a half inches. Yeah. 
I'll just take the end off Lovely. There. Okay. There we go. So we've got those three. Gorgeous. Okay. So now we we need to attach the little the pearls little on pearls to the bottom of the chain. Mm -hmm. So I've got here look some very tiny mm. because it's dainty. I've got some very tiny round nose pliers. Yeah. So you put on your little bead, your little pearl. They're so sweet, aren't they? They're tiny, tiny, aren't they? Such a nice thing to be able to work with, They're such a high-end quality to work with. There Absolutely beautiful. And I suppose you could either use these head pins or you could use the featherweight head pins if these you've got any of those. These are the featherweight head pins. Oh, I'm not actually sure. Uh, if you look at those, I'm not actually sure that an ordinary <coughs> one would go through. So, it might yeah, not do, yeah. Make sure that's straightened. Lovely. So now what I'm going to do is do a wrapped loop, which is... Go to. The, I'm going to go quite small. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push that away from me, and I'm really because it's such thin wire. Make sure you press down pretty well. Uh, bring it down as normal. Lovely. And then we're going to put the chain on mm -hmm. before we wrap the loop. There we go. Awesome. Okay. And do you know what's so nice about this is it gives you that full on sterling silver throughout the whole piece, which is just gorgeous. Silver and pearls, you can't get any more classic than that, any more sellable than that, actually. It's okay. just gorgeous. Well done. OK, so then we put the pliers back in. There we go. And we oh, and then we do a normal wrapped loop. Uh -huh. it, is quite, it is a bit fiddly, to be honest. But there we go, because it's all such tiny. Mm. Tiny stuff. But it makes such a lovely. So there we putting go. these on the uh, different length of chain. So on the longer one, the short, the, the slightly middle sized one, and then the shorter one, it's going to give you that lovely cascade yeah. effect, which is just so lovely. So we turn the pliers around, turn them again lovely. like that, and then we wrap. Mm -hmm. Pull it tight and wrap three times. Gorgeous. Okay. And again, what's so nice about these is you can use your microfasted gemstones, your microfasted bicones, yeah. you know, it's going to look lovely with oh, yes, lapis can, lazuli, all your pearls, yeah, or, or you mix can it add up. to it, yeah. Gorgeous. And then we just snip that off. Mm -hmm. And there we go. We've oh, that's got one so of those. sweet. Okay. That's adorable. Uh, and, and then you do that another two times. Mm -hmm. So I can do that again if you'd like yeah go for if it it's not too boring watching it again and i think what's nice as well is is we do so many chains which are gold plated silver rose gold plated silver if you wanted to add in those kind of chains to something like this as well the great thing about the advent calendar um uh, gifts that we're giving you in all these boxes <coughs> is they are so interchangeable you can add so much to them whether it's mixing up the precious metals whether it's adding other gemstones whether it's making asymmetry or or, or creating something which is perfectly symmetrical that's the beauty of things like the advent calendar is it gives you the opportunity to just go wild and, and use your creativity, which is just so nice. And of course, because you've made the jewelry and you know how it's made, you can take it apart and make it again, which is just fantastic. If you've decided that you want to make something different or, or if you uh, decide you don't like the way something sits, because you know how it's been. I mean, you wouldn't dream of buying a television and then thinking, oh, I don't like the way that's wired together and take it apart and put it back together because you didn't make it. But if you've made the jewellery, that confidence of being able to take it apart and put it together again, that's absolutely fine. Or like adjusting the seasoning when you're cooking. That's what's, you know, it's exactly like Just that. Just make it your own. Precisely. It's exactly it, Yvonne. I can't wait to see people's Wall of Fame entries over the next few weeks. Oh, I hope you make some. Weeks and months. I hope it will be somebody so make, make <clears throat> some. Oh, so do I. That'll be and, lovely. You know, I'd like to wave the flag for asymmetric earrings. Oh, me too. <laughs> they're so I think modern. They're, they're amazing. lovely. Mm, they're gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I, I started. Well, no, I, I didn't start it, but uh, I did a set when I did the competition. Yes. Uh, the Britain's Next Gem competition. Yeah. I did a set with white jade. Oh, how um, lovely. They, they were really pretty, and loads of people come. And were they asymmetric as well? Yeah. Oh, how yeah, lovely. they were. Such a nice thing to be able to do, isn't it? Such a nice thing to, um, to utilise. Um, and then to do it with asymmetry just really puts your own stamp onto it. So we're, doing, so we're doing the last piece, one here, one lovely. One more piece of chain. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's easier to pick it up like that, probably. It might be. There you go. Such a good quality chain this is. 
it's a lovely little kit like i say when i got it and it and it came it came through the post i thought oh it's just a little packet yes. and i was just so delighted when i opened it it yes, couldn't have been nicer it's lovely it's delicate. I mean, you've said this a couple of times, um, Yvonne. It is quite it is delicate, delicate. Uh, jewellery, but my gosh, it's statementy. And anyone who thinks that, you know, that, you know, this is modern, it's got a real punch to it, but it is still nice and delicate and so feminine. There we are. Beautiful. Well done. There's three wraps on that one. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay. So you're building up your little components here. This is yeah, nice. Yeah, making all the components mm, first. Lovely. Well, I'll make enough to make that dangly bit yeah, anyway. Yeah, absolutely. See how we go for time. Mm -hmm. So then what I did, I know uh, mm. the, the earrings have got a, a, a lovely ring. big jump ring on. Yeah, they're lovely. Uh, which, you know, you, you, if you wanted to, you could wear them like that. They mm. look really, really lovely. I, I could wear them like that. Mm, definitely, I would, yeah. Um, so uh, what I did was I made another jump ring for everything to sit on. Gorgeous. Um, don't know. Actually, just slightly bigger than that one, but, yeah, but it doesn't okay. matter. And I, I made this one myself just with the mm. baling pliers. Right, so here we go. Let's mm. see if we can hold that in there and maybe scoop them up. What do we want? So we'll, let's go with the biggest loop first. Lovely. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Gorgeous. Well and done. Then we'll go with, then we'll go with the longest chain. And what's nice is you can do this in any kind of order or configuration that you like. If you, you know, you however can, it suits however, you. However, yes, precisely. And that's what's so nice. And everyone's is going to look slightly different. That's another really lovely thing. Everybody's designs are going to look ever so slightly different, which is great. Yeah. Gorgeous. Well done. Gosh, that twisted wire looks so good. It yeah, so it's a nice. nice change, isn't it? It's a nice luster. And I haven't had the um, the wire twister tool out for a while, so I thought... It's oh, a good one, isn't it? It's so cheap and so, it's so useful. so easy. So Gorgeous. easy. So is that a piece of chain you're adding on there? Yeah, I'm trying to. Lovely. Gorgeous. Struggling to get the jump ring through it. That's okay, don't worry. There we go. I love the way these cluster together, I really do. And also, so. um, uh, just, just to kind of make you aware as well, when, when, when guest designers are, are demonstrating something on air, they're working at an angle, which is totally unnatural for them because we've got a camera up here filming Yvonne and what her hands are doing. And it's, and it's a really unnatural angle oh. for her to work at. Whereas mostly you'll be working up here. You'll be working right up to your face and you know, whether you're yeah, wearing you glasses or not. Yeah, you can get a not. comfortable Precisely, angle. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. So that's, you, you're doing oh. unbelievably well, Levy. So let's have a look, see if we can get this chain on. Gorgeous. For everything. And just look at all that gorgeous luster that these give. They give so much luster, so much breaking in um, uh, uh, the break of light, whether it's on the chain, whether it's on the, um, the finer chain, the thicker chain, or whether it's on that gorgeous twisted wire. It just gives you such lovely, lusterful um, uh, kind of design, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. Do you know, I might take it off. Well done. I might take it off this bigger ring and put it on a smaller one. Yeah, whatever I, you want to do, Because I think, oh no, as Has soon as on? I've changed my mind, it's gone See, off. it's happened. Yeah, no, there we it go. was listening. There we go. <laughs> Gorgeous, well I'll done, you're doing up. so well. And then one more, then we then that, okay. bit, that bit is done. Well done. And I'm sorry if you can't see, it's just that I need, it's such a tiny little hole. It's so, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It, 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 you know, especially in the studio lighting, it's really challenging to see. But effectively what Yvonne is doing is she's, is she's adding on um, the chain onto this jump ring here and then add it, and then she's gonna add the jump, that larger jump ring onto the one at the top as well. So you get that really lovely articulated kind of look a jewelry that moves is always so nice isn't it it just it just gives you that wonderful kind of um ah, that wonderful movement there we are it's all well gone done. on now um it's, it's not half that difficult when you're sitting at home no. doing it so not at all. Uh, we're going to now find an earring oh lovely. so i think all i did was put that onto there that's what's so nice about these earrings they are so smooth and and silky and just so yeah, it's the right kind of drape and material for a pair of earrings like this. It's the right, yeah, the right ingredients, I think. That's a good, um, that's a good way of describing it. I think, um, and what I always do, um, 
even if it's not a handmade piece of uh, jump Earring ring. Fine. Oh, jump ring. Jump ring mm. in particular. Um, I do get the pliers. Oh, so nice. I do get the pliers and um, give it a good old squish. Well, all you need it. to work hard on yeah, it, don't you? Yeah, because it hardens it and it doesn't come open so easily. Mm -hmm. So that is, is just squished like that to make it a little bit harder. And it makes harder. you feel like your jewellery's going to be... Substantial. Yeah. Sub more, yeah. Um, You're not frightened of selling be, it and it's going to it's fall gonna apart. It's going to fall apart. Yes, that would be my main worry. Although yeah. you do buy jewellery that falls don't apart. Don't you just. Don't you just. I know. It's terrible, isn't so, it? So, um, after a fashion... That's so sweet. That's, um, that's what we've ended up yeah. with. So, But I do like that thicker wire, I think. The I, twisted wire. I really wire. Like, I like, I like the uh, I like the quality it gives. I think that's so beautiful. And then the one on the and then and then the other earring you've I mean this I'm mean, holding it like this that would make the most yeah just a pendant beautiful pendant if it I would. just did this that would make the most gorgeous yeah. pendant just sitting there Look wouldn't it that. that's, that's lovely yeah. it is actually that's, that's really it and when nice. you, and when you get and when you get things like earring findings which are very you know they're, they're unusual they're a little bit different do think outside the box some of the best ideas sometimes are because people have have um have have uh thought no do you know what i'm going to use that as a as a pendant i'm going to use it as an earring um and quite and often the fact those... that it's on a jump ring you could take it off and put it on a chain oh totally 100 percent uh, absolutely it's, that little piece is all self-contained yeah definitely uh, now um so I, i'll go on to do the next one that you can, did yeah, have lovely. a little I put four at the top because I had four left over and I made a little cluster. But that is entirely, that again I, is a design I thing. Think, I think rather than do that, if, if it's okay with you Yvonne, because I know we're going to have a lot of people watching who want, to, who want you to talk through the oh, pendant. Oh really? Yeah, because okay. I think this is such a lovely piece. Um, what kind of wire did you, I suppose it's not really wire, it's sheet I suppose, isn't it? It is sheet, there you go. Oh. Just a silver sheet? Yeah, because that was what I was going, I was, uh, if we'd have had time, but we're not going to have time That's to do okay. it all. So, so, it's what's, just, so what so gauge is the silver sheet you're using here? That is, I'll tell you, I think it like it's 0.8. Oh, is it really? Oh, no, it might be 0.6. Okay. Um, I've got my calipers somewhere. Yeah. So you cut a piece of the, of, yeah. of the sterling silver sheet. And I can tell you how big it is. Can Go I on. borrow it? Yes, of course yeah. you can. You take it. Uh, so it's... Point oh, it's six. Point, point six. It's point yeah, lovely. Six. And it's um, so it's point six. Gorgeous. Oh, it's in That's I, okay. Don't I worry. work in inches, you know. I think it's, I know. I think it's two inches. It's about two inches. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, now but I'll tell you the width of it in in millimeters. Um, so it, yeah, it's six millimeters wide as okay, well. Okay, so six mil wide, yeah. 6 uh, gauge um, sterling silver sheet. We've had stuff like this all the time. This would work equally as well, I think, if you did a copper, if you use copper sheet. How did you get the hole in there? Did you right. did you use a punch or, or did the you? The trusty old jewellery maker. They're so they good. Are so, and you know, I've had them for years and years mm. and they're still sharp. They yeah. still make the hole. But uh, what I did, didn't do the hole first. Yep. Um, I got my piece of metal. Yep and I annealed it. Ah, so you heat it first. Yeah, I was going to, to ask make, that. To make, yeah. it, um, make it soft. And then what I did is, if I can hold this. Mm. Is, here, here, let me hold it. Okay, you hold that, seeing as we're not going to do it properly. That's all right. Uh, and then I put, can everybody see? Yeah, that's fine. I, I put that, the measuring, to get it in the middle, uh, you put it the same amount in Ah. that you're going to hold on this and then when you twist it it twists in the middle yeah. so you say say you put it in there half an inch mm. and pretend that's in there yeah and it's clamped in yeah pretend that's clamped in yeah and then you put your pliers i use parallel pliers and you'd put those half an inch in there as well yes. and, and then, then you twist, twist it and the twist oh. comes in the middle so after you've and so, so this is kind of within just a few moments of it being annealed it needs to be nice and soft presumably uh, yeah it needs to be nice and soft and mm -hmm. then of course as is normal you would pickle it and yeah. polish it yeah um or po uh, and actually probably file it as okay. well just yeah. just to make it take the i took the corners off there just mm -hmm. to make it a little bit smoother mm. um and then i've got my trusty 
hole punch mm -hmm. and I used a 1.6 hole mark it with a sharpie yeah uh, if you mark that with a sharpie if you put it there and get down you can actually see the mark and make sure it, that's turning yeah and getting so just take your time ride. take yeah, your time but literally and then it had a good old polish yeah. with either your Dremel or whatever your normal polishing equipment I is that you use this. at home your polishing equipment of choice yes exactly um, and then that basically is it but um that's basically Not two demos that's basically <laughs> two demos for the price of one i love <laughs> it how lovely i think what what has really struck me about all of the things that people you know that we've had in the advent calendar is the versatility of everything yeah. whether it's the gorgeous pearls whether it's sterling silver yeah. i don't want to give too much away because i know what's coming up but with with everything we've got coming up and with everything we bought you already in the advent calendar you can very much choose for yourself what you want to do so an earring yes but also a pendant yeah um, um, and of course by adding in different gemstones or crystals whatever it might be you can really get your own uh, you can really put your own mark on it which is so Absolutely, nice Absolutely, yeah I mean uh, the reason I've done you might think why why do these match because clearly they don't but I wanted to show two different ways of twisting, of twisting wire. the wire yeah, yeah. absolutely so that, so that was makes the, complete that's sense that's the connection between yes. the two but I think you could you'd wear that daily wouldn't you oh 100 percent to work in that and also don't you think that if you if you, I mean, you can you can choose to twist it a little bit further up if you want to. You could engrave onto it. Yep. You could stamp onto it. You could uh, put a punch on it. Well, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, and so as simple. You say, as long as you um, as long as you adjust how far you either put it into the clamp exactly, or yeah. into your pliers, mm. you can actually manipulate to get that twist where, or you could twist it again. Yeah, gorgeous. See, that's that's really um, that's. Um, uh, really fantastic to see those two ways those two different ways of twisting it it's been so lovely hasn't it and do you know what just just working with really gorgeous premium ingredients like the ones that you're getting in the advent calendar is such a nice thing to do um you know i with the with the um with the advent calendar that we've got here every single one of these items is an absolute winner have you looked through all of the other no. oh i have no. honestly i know what they all are no. and i'm trying my best i only know up to box five <laughs> But look, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Yvonne. That's oh, been gorgeous to watch that. You can't that. go wrong with thread or earrings, you really so, can't. so uh, go for box five. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> definitely go for box five, uh, uh, box five. Thank you so much for that. I hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. Bye. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining.